Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we saw how can you identify sensitive directories on any target for your penetration testing. In this video, how can we not use DIR search to identify the websites which contains sensitive directories. This is one of the most used tools which is used for brute forcing the directories and identifying the sensitive directories and getting sensitive data from those directories. So the format of doing this particular scan is python dirsearch.py hyphen u stands for the URL and you can give the URL that you want to scan. One interesting thing about dir search is you have to add hyphen e. Hyphen e stands for the extensions that you want to look for. So it will also look for the extension php zip in case of there are some files of source code which are zipped by the developer we can also get those and download those aspx.env files the environment files sometimes xml files because the developer may have stored some sensitive username password credentials tokens api keys etc backup files sometimes they tend to make backups of their logs and configuration files. So we are going to search for these many files onto this particular target. So once I hit enter, you can see DIR search will start onto this particular target. So as you can see, this is the output. 403 stands for the request was forbidden. 301 stands for it was a redirect for that particular request. And 200 OK is the server is able to fulfill our request so we did not got anything sensitive over here no problem let's go to the next target so and as you can see over here in the next target we have mirror dot net dot net over here we see that we got some of the interesting results over here as you can see 200 OK for ETC pass WD and you all know ETC pass WD is a very very sensitive directory into our Linux machine where it contains all the information about our users which we have created. So in my computer I'm just going to read this file you can only read this file once you are a super user or a root user so I quickly switch to the super user. And now when I'm reading this file, you can see the users which are created into my computer. So these are all the users which are running right now into my computer. Yes. All right. So what I did, I quickly went to that particular link that we got from the DIR search. And once I click that link, you can see here, I can see the past WD file. I will just download this file you can see it is downloaded let me just open up and check so i will just right click open with text edit to see what is there inside and you can see over here i'll just zoom it you can see the server which is running is freebsd you can see the machine is by the name of peter you can see these are the users which are created into that particular machine so this is enough information for any program to send to show the severity because this file is considered very, very sensitive. So I, ho I hope you guys understood this video. Thank you.